Welcome back to Space Haven. Now, in the last episode, uh, we uh, finished up this system here, or rather, we were close to it, and I have completed everything we wanted to complete here in between episodes. And I think I finished some research off camera because I have researched the Shields console and the X1 hyperdrive, and I'm not sure if I had those at the end of the last episode. And currently we are researching this shield generator. So, um, I don't know if that... I, I, I don't remember if that happened in the last episode or not, but um, just for good measure, I'm adding it here so that you can see that I have those now. We will be replacing our hyperdrives with the proper hyperdrives and start refining down the uh, Hyperium into hyperfuel. But it's time for a hyperjump. We have uh, many things to discover. We also need those uh, hypersleep chambers. Uh, we can jump safely because we don't want the HSS Agnes. Okay, now... I think we'll just work our way around here and go back if that is possible. I don't think we need carbon or I could do those in between episodes. Now let's go down here. It has a, a derelict and a claimable ship. That is always exciting. So we'll be dropping out here, I think. Uh, let's pause quickly. So this is a claimable ship. And this is a derelict. Okay, good, good. You four, you are to be drafted as per usual procedures and uh, off you go to the ship. Or shuttle. Uh, now, we want this to dock, I think here, room, room, and out you go, and we immediately meet biters. I'm hoping we can be uh, careful enough in our rampant destruction that we do not destroy the uh, generators in there. I don't care too much about the uh, the other equipment here, but uh, the generator I would really love to uh, maintain alive. That's going to be difficult though, when they keep shooting at it like that. That's one biter down at least. But the other one is kind of like going in a circular path around. Oh, poor guy is all alone there. Oh no, he wasn't. There was another one. Okay, now what is in this room? Oh, that's the kitchen. Spacious toilet facilities on a ship for two, it would seem. Why don't we see that tile there? Good. Uh, we want to go get some oxygen. We can speed up while we do that. Excellent, and then now we can send this to dock at the airlock. And here we have two uh, nice engines ready to salvage as well. That's not bad. The HSS Ariel. Hmm.
to let the ship uh, out of the shuttle dock like that. Good. Now you can enter away. And then we want this to dock at an airlock. Their stats are good, so we just want to refill some oxygen. Ten thousand uh, dock there. Room, room. I should build another research table. Okay, well, there's plenty of biters here. Here, I'm not that concerned about the generator. So this smaller ship seems to have room for more crew members. And it has the most bizarre layout. Uh, you can go dock here. There is one more biter in there. Kill it. Good. And this is the ACS Starbug. I can't see that there is anything uh, worth looting here, but I will definitely tear down this wall. This one too. Let me go out here. Apparently I tore up a bed as well. And we will tear down this wall as well. Come on. Jeez. Yeah, that's good enough. Now we can uh, take them back to the, our uh, mothership and uh, start salvaging and doing those things. Okay, so this ship away. The Ariel, let's claim that. And on the Ariel, let's set rules, select all, except for rubble, and empty. I don't know if there's actually anything here currently. Doesn't appear to be. And uh, now we need to start dismantling things. Uh, the generator, let's stop so that they don't bring fuel over to that, because that is unnecessary. Take the toilets as well. That's an X3 generator, wow. Uh, this one we can also dismantle, yes. Yeah, I think that's good. And for the ship down here, we can transfer everything. And we can salvage the tech and the energy scrap. Let's have a look at the um, the hyperdrive. That should be a system, Hyperium hyperdrive. That doesn't really require that much. Pretty small though. <laughs> kind of cutely small. Let's dismantle all of these. set one of these to stop composting because I got some monster corpses. Uh, 
and we also need to go to this machine and do hyperfuel if less than 30 please make hyperfuel and then everyone decided to go to bed well i guess they should be shall be excused after all they need their beauty sleep they're running low on energy again Yeah, it would be good to get better generators. I'm wondering if we should just get another um, research lab up and running. Because, why not? I suspect that our logistics is kind of overwhelmed at the moment. Yep, here we go. That was the other thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to replace these nodes. Um, let's speed things down while I do that. If I have a node there, that goes to the door. Then a node here, and I guess a node there. Because I'm fairly sufficient. Well, I hope it covers the um, the uh, machines. If it doesn't, well, snip, snip. Nip. And this one goes to there, and to there, this one goes to there, and to there. No, that's wrong. This one goes to there. Yeah. I think that's sufficient, and I hope that that will cover the machines, uh, or rather the engines. I can build one, two, Three, four, five. We can speed things up again. They don't require much at all. These have a mass capacity of 800. I don't remember what the mass capacity of these were, but uh, 5 times 800 seems nice. Yeah, we're definitely overwhelmed here. Uh, I believe we have more... Uh, Monster corpses. But we're definitely not producing enough fertilizer. That is a minor issue. Because it seems that the other ones also produced 800 each, but now we're using this fuel instead of that fuel, which is better. Since one of these produced five of these, I think. No, two of those produce one of those. Well, I'm fairly certain they are more efficient. 3,200, so that's better. Uh, how are things coming along here? And here? done. Ah, they have. Oh, no, we're not. They haven't even started deconstructing things. Now we're starting doing that. 
I guess I overloaded the logistics uh, completely. A bit wary about this energy situation here. I don't think I saw any systems with Energium. There is a ship though, so we might be able to buy... Ah, there is over there. Um, yeah. If this drops too low, we'll have to uh, get out of here. We might have to go back, but I think that we should be able to be... Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop all of these and grow artificial meat instead. Nuts and seeds, root vegetables, nuts and seeds. Uh, yeah, we can stop three of these and replace those with artificial meat as well. Ah, the ship is in co Ah, Merchant Federation ship. Let's hope they have uh, Energium because we have plenty of cash at the moment. Hierakon. See here. Well, you do have two of it. At a rather steep cost. How much do we get from each? Two from one. Let's just check this uh, price level stuff. 148 times two is nearly 300. So it's basically the same. So we can buy a couple of these as well. Um, oh, monster meat. No, I don't want to buy monster meat, but I do want to buy fertilizer. Okay, what do I have that you want? Energy blocks. Sure, we can have a couple of those. Soft blocks, happily. As for the rest, I don't think we need that much raw chemicals. We can do another trade with them. I doubt they have, but they have tech blocks, but we have plenty of those now. They also have Hyperium. 350, yeah, I think we're gonna buy that. Four of that. can sell some raw raw steel some steel plates that's okay I don't want to sell more energy blocks I think we'll just pay up how are we coming along over here Yeah, not bad, not bad. And our fertilizing, do we have... Let me check, do we have a human corpse? Do we have a monster corpse? Struggling a bit with this. Then again, the logistics is overwhelmed because I have an active trade going on. I can't see any. Well, yes, there is a corpse lying there. And we're lacking nuts. Either they're eating too much, or... I don't know. Oh dear. We are very low on biomatter as well now. Means I'm going to have to start composting fruits and vegetables. The shield generator is done, that's good. Um, the hypersleep chamber is there. Where is the... Uh, 
or tripe. There isn't any better warp drives. Okay. Well done. Hey. Um, we don't need a scanner right away. We don't need the weapons console either currently. Um... We do need a power capacity node, and solar panels would be nice. It does generate a bit of extra energy at no cost. It takes up space. I don't remember if it takes up systems. But we're going to get those, uh, but not right away. I think that what we're going to get now is medical bed so we can get the hypersleep chambers okay so there is a monster corpse in there decomposing we do not have human corpse let's put some fruits in there another monster corpse done here? Yes, they are. How is things coming along up here? Yeah, there's not much left. Uh, this is a thermal regulator. That can sleep. So... I don't think that gives us much either. So let's just uh, finish up here and we can move on to the next system. is set monster corpse that continues human corpse that continues i could set biomatter continues i could do that for all of them actually i could set in the monster meat and the human meat as well then they will all take these additional thingies into they are composting. We get those. Are we done here? No, there's still two monster corpses, and we actually need those. Um, transfer. Our primary focus is getting enough energy rods and food food is a problem when we do not produce enough biomatter i hope that getting enough growth here with fertilizer will alleviate some of that issue but i'm not sure why do we have hull scrap left come on guys they are just lying there. Go get them. Thank you. You need two people to collect those two? Okay. Well done. Yeah, it's rough work doing that for one person. 
No further comment. Transfer them, please. Nah, go to bed instead. Useless people. Doesn't help our situation with energy. Now, would someone please go over there and get those? Okay. Well then. Um, can I expedite this in some manner? is going over. Would you be so kind as to please take those bodies? Thank you. That is very, very appreciated. And then we will prepare a hyper jump. Eesh, that took a long time. And jump. No, yes. We go there. There. And we go here. And here we stop. And we drop there. And it's early enough in the day that we can draft all of these and send them over to the other... Uh, or to that derelict. And we will dock here. Room, room. Any fighters here? Ah, that, ah, this is an alien infested ship. Well, that's always fun. I hope there is no uh, space goats here. so good. Only uh, pods. Since this is the infestation area, uh, we might actually be in the clear for that. Which makes Caledron happy. Out into the hallway here. Start blasting the walls, please. Uh, you can go dock at the airlock. What is in here? Here is a data pad. Somehow I suspect that that is the final part of the Mary Shelley book. shame that this is not a reclaimable vessel because uh, this ship has a lot of goodies in terms of dismantling but it will have plenty of salvageable material as well is uh, also an acceptable thing we'll uh, make some uh, holes in the walls here The ability to aim, that is. There we go. We can move downwards here. We, could, we are starting to run slightly low on oxygen, but uh, should be fine. No biter welcoming committee? No. 
Okay, then uh, it's time to go back to the ship. Good. Let's start mining. Only six, that's a bit of a shame. So what is in here? Uh, we have nice things. Always happy for nice things. Salvage. Salvage these. I think we'll take the soft scrap as well. I believe this is set to salvage everything. Good. Now our... Huh. is not good. The um Fertilizer might actually be a really big challenge. Because I don't know what to, to actually uh, decompose. I mean, we need the food for food. And yeah, I'm sure you can see my conundrum here. I'm not sure how to solve this. We did find a data log. Ah, it was the Starfarer entry 4. Keepers of the Flames. Victor's friends could have been anything. Pirates, slavers. Instead, they turned out to be some of the nicest folks I've ever met. I guess the apocalypse just can't take the shine of some people. Nice, but not pushovers. I wouldn't want to be the pirate that messes with the crew of the Second Chance. We teamed up. Where we go, they go. Everything gets split 50-50, and if one crew's a little short on supplies, the other crew's there for them. It sounds a lot simpler than it is, but it works. I'll choose a negotiation over a gunfight every time. It has already paid off too. I am pretty sure that ship we were seeing for the last four or five jumps was stalking us. Since we teamed up with a second chance, they have vanished. So, we are going to keep doing what we were doing. Follow the resources, and I hear that other crews have big ideas about searching for a new homeworld or alien life or whatever. Oh, welcome to it. All I care about is keeping me and mine alive and honest. All other concerns are secondary. Sandy said she had some friends on another ship that might be out this way. It worked out well enough with a second chance, so yeah. Maybe we should go see if the crew of Perfect Ship version 3.0 live up to their sense of humour. So long as they can pull their weight, they will be welcome. Isn't that cute? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That's... the reason. I... did a bad here. <laughs> I can imagine everyone. No, no, Caledon, you're doing the wrong thing. That's the wrong engine. Don't build those. It's the... No, no, no. Yeah. I can easily imagine that. X1 hyperdrive. Everyone should be happy now. Much better. The medical bed has been researched, so we will continue with the hypersleep chamber then. Uh, we'll just have to uh, continue decomposing fruit. And I'm wondering if we actually want to have an autopsy table to uh, chop the monster corpses into bits. 
because monster meat gives us raw chemicals. Right, okay, well, we only get the fertilizer from biomatter. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is not good. That is not good at all. Yeah, each of these gives us 1600, so... Does it give 800? No, it gives 1600, so we will be well within the limit. We don't need to build a fourth one yet. We won't be well within, but 4,800 should suffice for now until we have a more stable supply of Hyperium. How is things going here? We are done. Good. Let's prepare for a hyper jump then. Not all hyperdrives are powered or fueled. But they are now. And everything has docked. Jump. So we can go up here. But I can go back and do this in a pit stop. Go here. I think we'll take this one. pretty neat distance wise it is too late for me to send off the away team uh, but we can start mining ah 11 that's much better oh and this is a big ship And we are waiting for them to have their little nap, and then we can go explore that uh, derelict. There we go. Uh, draft. Uh, it'll go on there. And now we need to do some modifications here. Let's put this down to 2028. Put in five. Probably not enough, but it's better than it was. So. These guys will dock here. Room, room. And there are biters here as well. Biters seems to be the theme these days. They are intelligent enough to go through the doors. So they can't be completely mindless. Oh, there's a crew member in there. It's not exactly on top of my list of priorities. And I'd really rather not have to murder someone again. I'm wondering if I should just leave it here and we can go back here later if we need another crew member. If I just jot down where we are. 
that might actually be a good idea. What a bizarre ship layout. Down here. Bedrooms and a toilet. Okay, so they, they live in an arm or lived in an arm. Uh, you can go dock at the airlock, I think. starting to run low on oxygen but I think that we should be fine a bit mystified by the fact that there's crates everywhere here the glorious fall okay yeah I think we'll leave the crew member there because we don't particularly need another crew member at this moment and we can't feed them anyways so uh, it would not be a good idea to take on a crew member currently and I will uh, do a uh, note that uh, this system here which would be asteroid field 313 has a crew member uh, now let's set up uh, the transfer and the salvage And I think that this is a good spot to uh, end this episode. Um, I wish I could say that things are going well, but considering our situation with the food, uh, it really isn't going well. Uh, that's going to be a major issue, and I don't know how to solve it. But I will try to do my best. So, yeah. If you do have any suggestions uh, or questions or comments, do feel free to please leave them in the comment section. Uh, I would welcome them very much if you have suggestions for how to deal with this food situation, because uh, I am completely at a loss. I mean, wouldn't help adding more grow beds, as we don't have enough fertilizer to have more grow beds, and yeah, it's kind of like, what the heck do we do with this? But for now, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will be seeing you all in the next episode.